In this topic, we are going to learn about simple three-dimensional problems involving trigonometry. Now, what do you think this orange diagram is? Yes, two-dimensionally, it looks like a parallelogram. Now, what do you think this orange object looks like now? Yes, it is a plane. A plane is simply a three-dimensional surface. Let's say we have a vertical line that cuts through this plane here, and we call it the normal. Let's label the diagram in this way. Now, what do you think is the value of angle NOA? Yes, it is 90 degrees. It does not look like 90 degrees because it is three-dimensional. Now, what do you think is the value of angle NOB? Yes, angle NOB is again 90 degrees because ON is a line that is vertical to the plane. And what do you think is the value of angle NOC? Yes, it is 90 degrees as well. And the value of angle NOD? It is 90 degrees. And finally, what do you think is the angle NOX? And NOX is 90 degrees. Hence, a normal is always perpendicular to the plane. At times, it does not look 90 degrees. But if you have a normal that cuts vertically through the plane, the angle it makes with the plane will always be 90 degrees. Now, let's look at a simple three-dimensional problem here. We are asked to find the length of EG. In order to do so, we shall use the triangle GFE. And do you know what's the value of angle GFE? Yes, the angle GFE is 90 degrees because this is a rectangular surface of a cuboid. Since angle GFE equals to 90 degrees, we can use Pythagoras theorem to find EG. Do you know what's the value of C, A, and B? Yes, we have EG square, which is the hypotenuse, equals to 24 square plus A square. Simplifying, we will have EG square equals to 640. To find EG, we shall square root on both sides and we will have EG equals to 25.3 meters rounded off to three significant figures. Next, we are asked to find angle BEG. Here. To do so, we shall use the triangle BEG. Now, do you know what's the angle of BGE? Angle BG is actually 90 degrees because BG here is actually a normal. And hence, we can use the trigonometry ratios to find angle BEG here. BG will be the opposite and EG will be the adjacent. Do you know which trigonometry ratio we can use? Yes, we shall use tangent theta equals to opposite over adjacent. By substituting the values, we have angle BEG equals to 6 over 25.298. To find angle BEG, we shall inverse tangent on both sides. And we will have angle BEG equals to the inverse tangent of 6 over 25.298. By pressing your calculator, we will have 13.3 degrees rounded off to one decimal place. Before we look at another example, let us answer this question here. Which angle is the smallest for each of the following triangles? Usually, we can see that angle ACB here is actually the smallest angle. And for the next triangle, angle PQR is actually the smallest. Now, what do you notice about the relationship between the smallest angle and its opposite length? You are right. The shortest length is always opposite the smallest angle. Likewise, the longest length is always opposite the largest angle. For instance, the largest angle for triangle ABC is 90 degrees. 
it is impossible to have another angle that is 90 degrees or more, otherwise the sum of angles will not be 180 degrees. Therefore, the length opposite the right angle must always be the longest length. And we term it as hypotenuse.